Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Accountable Goddess. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you wish, if you like, if you want to. It's free. It doesn't cost a thing to like, comment, share, subscribe. But do it at your own pace. Do it at your own free will. Turn on posts, notifications, so you know it's time I drop and upload a video. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic, subject title is going to be on, it's going to be about, it's going to be titled. I feel like I got off at the wrong stop. Being born into this matrix, this world, this simulation, it feels like I got off at the wrong stop. Because down here is misery, is torture, is diabolical, is sinister. This matrix is just filled with so much evil, demonic energy. This place is hell. It's a living nightmare. Because being woke in this matrix, no one understands you. No one gets you. It's like you're the only one that can see everything for what it really is. You can see through people. You can see through how people really are. And in your family, you're the outcast. You're the misfit. You're the reject. You're the black sheep. You're the scapegoat. And all because you have a certain all because you have a certain awareness about this place. And your family see that light in you. They see your gifts. They see that you are spiritually gifted and spiritually talented. And your family, they get jealous and hate on you. But all because you're so conscious on a high spiritual level. And all because you're different. You got the power and the energy of a god or a goddess. And people just see that in you. They see the spiritual knowledge in you. So your, fam so your family, friends, other people, they get jealous. And they envy you. They become haters. Because they're jealous... They're jealous that they don't have what you have. They want to be. They want to be special. They wish they were special more than you. So they make you the outcast, the scapegoat, the black sheep. They gossip about you. They say you are the lost one. You're the one that is troubled. You're the rebel all because you speak out. You're the rebellious one all because you tell the truth. You're honest. You stand on truth. You stand on business, on telling the truth. So, you're a rebel, but you're not a rebel without a cause. You're a rebel with a cause. You got a cause 
and a reason to be a rebel. Yeah, so I can end my family. I stand on truth. So I was automatically looked at as the awkward one. I was so awkward. And I was labeled as this weird, strange one. I was labeled as weird and strange because I was always different and disconnected from my family. I never had no connection with any of them. And I still don't now. <laughs> I left my family. I left all of them behind. I left all of them in the dust. I buried them in the dirt. And they're staying there. I'm not coming back into this dysfunctional fold of a family. I'm not fake. I can't fake. I can't pretend that everyone, I can't pretend that everything is all right, all well, ends well. I can't pretend and put on like, I like them. I forget them. I trust them. No, I can't do it. It's not my style. It's not my bag. I'm too real and honest. That's the main reason of why I do not fit in with my family. That's the main reason of why I do not fit into my family and why they just make me just be the awkward one. I'm the awkward one. Like a rotten egg. They make me the rotten egg all because I'm too honest. I'm too honest for them. I'm too honest, truthful for them. I get the raw, uncut, uncensored truth. And they can't stand it. They can't handle it. They cannot handle it. So I feel like I was born into the wrong family. I've always felt that way ever since I was a young child all through my life. And even so more now, I always felt like I was born into the wrong family. I'm born into the wrong family. I'm awoke. I'm not asleep. I can't stand this matrix, this simulation, this world. This place is not right. This place is not for no happiness, no enjoyment. We work as slaves. Working a job is working as a slave. It's sleigh driving. It's on a hamster wheel. Just going around and around and around. Non-stop with low pay. Our pay is not being raised. We're working for just nothing. We're working for pennies. And that's it. We work hard. And still not getting nowhere. We're still not getting anywhere. So we're just working for nothing and almost for free at this point. We're working for almost nothing and almost for free at this point. This place, it just makes you feel sad. This place is a place of sadness, weariness, a lot of worries, a lot of burdens. And in this place, through all of this, through all of this hell, we got to try to find a place of heaven, a place of peace, a place of happiness. 
a place of joy. It's hard. It's hard to find it. It's almost like it's... A lot of times it feels like it's impossible to find. But some kind of way, we got to find it. I hate it here. I hate being stuck down here. I can't wait to when it's my exit date. I can't wait to when my time expires. I can't wait for my... I can't wait until it's my expiration date. I can't wait to get out of here. As soon as I'm out of here, it's adios. I'm going to be screaming, yelling, hooraying. I'm going to celebrate and be so glad. But being stuck down here, being stuck, being stuck and getting trapped down here, that's why I say it feels like I got off at the wrong stop. Like on a bus. You get off at the wrong bus stop. Being trapped, stuck, and born into this matrix. It feels like getting off at the wrong bus stop. It's like you got off at the wrong stop. I'm a countable goddess. Like, comment, share, subscribe. More love, whole love. I'm out for love. Bye.